Okay guys, here's a couple videos. This first couple of pictures you're going to see and the small little clip is going to be Fall Creek Falls State Park. Uh, definitely a good recommendation. Um, water did seem kind of low. We were going through somewhat of a small little dry spout um, with it. So the water was kind of low, but you can walk down there and you can swim down there. And if you're brave enough, try to get up there on the rocks and let the water smack you in the head. The next video that we've got going on is the Tennessee Hiawassee uh, River Loop. So this is one of four river loops. There's, from what the conductor said, or the what the uh, narrator said, uh, this is one of four. There are two in California. There are two in California, one in Colorado, which when we were in Colorado, we were going to go on, but unfortunately didn't get a chance to. But the next time we go out to Colorado, we are definitely going to go on that one. Really don't have any interest in going to California, so I'm planning on staying away from those. So two out of four isn't too bad. So we got one out knocked out of the way. Now this is a five-hour train ride. Comes with narration. If we got the observation car, which is all the way in the back, uh, we didn't go up, uh, we didn't get the tickets to go up in the full view, but I think if you go into the back of the train and you get those tickets, those are perfectly fine. The snacks are complimentary, and you can have as many as you want. Cookies, candies. Uh, the lady did have cheese and crackers, so that was a plus. Coffee's there. Water. Uh, definitely highly recommended. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description of where you can uh, get tickets to the train. It's very simple to get out to. Uh, take my advice, and this is the advice that they gave us, that when you do depart the train and leave, or if you do drive in through Madisonville, uh, Burlette, I think it is, and Etowah, the speed limit is 40. Uh, so keep your speed at 40. They told us this after we left. I got a little bit too comfortable with because it's a four-lane blacktop with the turning lane in the middle. So you get a big, huge illusion that that road is 55. That road is 40. Yeah, we did get pulled over. I'm not going to say whether or not I got a ticket or not, but uh, please do be careful because they will pull you over. Um, I know a majority of the cops, even around here, Maryville, I've gone 10 over past them, and they're like, yeah, whatever. But they do, te they do take uh, um, speeding very serious out there. Fine. Okay? If you want to take speeding very serious out there, that's you're well within to do it. But just uh, keep it within the limits. Don't try to get out of the ticket. <laughs> um but, you know, keep it in there. Just remember that the speed limit is 40, and they do they do enforce it, highly enforced. And it was really funny, too, because as soon as I saw, as soon as I saw the cop, and it wasn't in a regular cop car, it was one of those black Dodges, blacked out windows and things like that, but it kind of looked like a cop car. And as soon as I looked down, I'm like, I hope the speed limit on this road is 55. I just got too comfortable, and there's not a lot of 40 mile per hour signs around. So if you do happen to miss one, it could happen. So as soon as his lights went on, I instantly knew it. Pulled over to the side of the road, pulled off the road into a little parking lot, old parking lot area, because I would prefer to drive into a parking lot area than pull off the side of the road. So. But anyway, very nice. When you're done, they do give you a good suggestion of where to go. Uh, if you want to eat there, um, we ate at Michael's. That was really good. Uh, we were going to eat at Jessica's, but Jessica's seems to be a little bit more. It's a, 
they, they serve breakfast all day, so it does seem like they do concentrate a little bit more on breakfast and burgers there. Michael's was more of the barbecued burger, burger joint. But like I said, this tour is five hours. Um, it is nice. It's pretty neat to be in there. Uh, it, it Keep in mind we are doing this during the summertime, and if you actually look at some of the foliage out there, you would know that this would absolutely be 100% beautiful in the spring and the fall. So, uh, spring and the fall is very highly recommended. However, they did say that during those peak time, those are their peak times, uh, so it's very hard to get a reservation because in the section that we were at, there's only seating for 12. And it's 13 and over for the observation car, so keep that in mind. Uh, I think the first two couple of cars, I think they they have the children and adults, but there are they do have a couple of cars that's basically 13 and older. So, uh, very fun trip. Uh, please go down and see them. They got the uh, Tennessee River Valley Rail Museum down there. Uh, we'll probably end up hitting that real quick. They do have other trips besides these that are very, that are shorter. They do have some during Christmas time. Uh, Polar Express one that might be a different railway that we will be going on in Bryson, North Carolina. So I will let, we will let you know what that one is going to be like. However, we will be doing that in September. Uh, we will actually be staying out in the hotel and then riding the train the next day. And I do believe that's a five hour trip too. But they do have trips that are an hour, two hours and things like that. We really wanted to do the loop because, like we said, there's only four of them in the continental United States, two in California, one in Colorado, and one here in Etowah, Tennessee. So come down here and visit. It's not too bad. Uh, it's a small little town, very small, so don't expect big cities and things like that. But, you know, very nice people, uh, pretty cool guy came. Uh, I don't know whether or not he does this all the time or... You know, if it was just special because he was on the train, he did play a banjo for everybody that was in car one, two, three, four, and five. So that was pretty cool. So we got a little bit of live entertainment on the way back. Uh, depending on how you want to view the, uh, all of the, we are sitting on the, um, I believe we would be on the right side of the car. If you were facing, Facing forward, we are on the right side of the car. So on the way up, there is not a very good view. So they have people switch seats on the way back because on the way back, the people that were on the right side now get to be on the opposite side and they actually get to see all of the views of the river and things like that. And you can see the rafters and the kayakers kayaking and tubing and things like that up, up and down the river. It's really cool. It's really cool. Uh, definitely recommended. Uh, I hope some of you go. Uh, please do. Uh, and enjoy yourselves while you're in Tennessee.